But first, a family fights while their mother's body lies unburied in a funeral home. Now at 6, we're digging deeper into the heartbreaking family feud. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Linda Rotato. Thanks for joining us. A mother's last wish to rest in peace going ignored tonight. Instead, her remains sitting in cold storage for weeks. Yeah, tonight, I-Team reporter Adam Walzer went to the woman's family for answers. Adam? Well, the woman died more than a month ago, and family members say she made it perfectly clear how she wanted to be buried. But her son and daughter claim her other son is standing in the way of that by trying to pocket all the money from her life insurance settlement. It's sad. And her body just deteriorating. As days stretch into weeks, Shirley Dawson's body sits in cold storage at this Spring Hill funeral home. Just every day passes makes me more angry. Dawson's son Tom and daughter Karen are angry because they claim their brother Bill, who lived with his mother for years and was named executor of her estate, has failed to carry out the final wishes spelled out in her will to be buried beside her late husband 1,000 miles away in New Jersey. She's got a plot and a headstone up there already with her name on it right next to my father's. They say their mom bought three insurance policies worth $15,000, which would more than cover the $7,000 cost of transporting her body. But they accused Bill of keeping the money instead of carrying out her wishes. He's had another breakdown, and that's why he's in bed now. Now a homeless man has moved into their late mom's apartment and is advising Bill. But I explain things to him. Okay. As it goes. And you're an attorney or No, 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 no. I'm his friend. And okay. I represent his intellectual rights. The funeral director tells us his job is to carry out the family's wishes, which are still unclear. There's gotta be some kind of a law that steps in and says that money was for that purpose and that's what it should be used for. That issue may not be resolved soon since Bill's advisor says he's not emotionally capable of carrying out his duties as executor. Isn't it time that Bill get out of bed and do something about his mother in the cooler? Well, that's fine. You can say that all you want, but he's the one that's having the breakdown. Now, I contacted the state funeral services office and they tell me this is not an isolated incident. They've seen cases in which people's remains have been held in storage for months. In the meantime, the other family members say they can't afford to have their mother buried or to hire an attorney. I'm investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.